can go ahead and get started whenever we think we have a quorum here, I guess. For starters, I can give the rundown on where we are with viewers. Um, we have, let's see, the the next viewer release we're planning is, is Love Me Render. This has a collection of graphics fixes, some of which have been floating around for a while. Um, we are also trying to fit in some high priority EAP changes uh, into that viewer. Um, so we're we're holding the release a little bit until we can get those uh, those EAP changes in. Um, and and after that, uh, not sure what the next next release will be. Uh, we've got the other RCs. We've got our, our the uh, CEF update. That's uh, changes to the uh, Chrome embedded framework to enable things like streaming video um, in in our uh, in world content, and also the tools update viewer is finally out in RC. This is the long-awaited um, compiler updates that will get us to VS 2017. Um, so uh, probably one of those two will be the next to go out after after Love Me Render, but we don't have a definite sequence there. A um, few other things we've got in as project viewers right now. Uh, we've got the, the uh, mesh uploader improvements. Uh, think is close. We've got the copy paste viewer, which is um, uh, getting some additional UI revisions now. Uh, legacy profiles been in the round for an awful long time. The last I heard, I think we still need one more web change to get that out. Um, this is not the same web changes we were waiting for before. Uh, and uh, so those guys are also in the queue, although they're oh, am I breaking up? There were a couple of drops, but it's it's generally okay. Okay. Uh, okay, well that's it. I was just running through the uh, viewer stuff. Uh, I think uh, Euclid is here. If anybody has questions about the graphics changes um, or uh, otherwise, we, we're uh, uh, open for other topics. Anything else we should uh, cover this week, Grumpy? I don't think so. I got nothing on my plate. Okay. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the Dark Hut issue, but I, it's not in our list of Love Me Render 4 fixes at the moment. That one sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't have a JIRA number for it right now. The HUD is subject to the sun? Fascinating.
Well, the answer is no, it's not fixed. Uh, it's still um, in the queue, waiting for its moment in the sun. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I guess we've got two copies of it. Um, there's one copy that claims it's fixed, and then Dan has a link to another one that doesn't claim it's fixed. Yeah. Buds are again affected by environment setting. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we don't we don't currently have a fix for that one. I'm not sure if that's planned for um, Love Me Render or not. Um, unless it's it, it's possible it's related to the specularity um, problems we had. Um, if that's the case, then as a side effect, uh, it might get cleaned up. But as a standalone issue, I don't think it was on our short list. Thanks for the info, Worley. All right. Well, any uh, anything else 
folks interested in what's going on in development land? New cool releases. I was really kind of hoping we could pretend that eat bugs don't exist um, and uh, just move on. Nothing to see here. Uh, so Fulbright with Fog, is that something that was working correctly in our viewer before EEP, or is that just something that Firestorm had a fix for before EEP? Yeah, okay. Yeah, when we were doing EEP, we were trying, at the end, we were trying very hard to make things always match our existing viewers. So 
if it if it looked completely ridiculous in our existing viewer, we just tried to make it look equally ridiculous in EEP. Because basically we had infinite pushback on any change that makes existing content look different. Um, so that's probably what happened with this issue, although why the change broke uh, broke Firestorm's uh, fix, I don't know. Uh, well, you say an option to disable full bright rendering. Um, so how would that work in practice? What would would that be just a global debug setting that affects everything in the scene? So how does that work now? Fulbright is just a toggle, isn't it? You've got you know, some checkbox that says we want this thing to be Fulbright. You'd basically render it exactly the same as if that checkbox wasn't set in that case. I think we have a cornfield transition for feature requests, don't we? It's we'll manual. Settings. Oh, okay. But I, I do believe uh, some people have experienced it. Well, this Fulbright one does specifically have a comment that, um, you know, issue exists or existed pre-EEP, it's expected behavior. If you want to change it, that's fine, but it would be a feature request and not blocking EEP deploy. So that's 
that's the state that uh, the Fulbright Objects and Fog is in right now. Sorry, I found a bug in um, keyboards on a MacBook. All right, we got anything else to talk about this time, or should we run off early? Let the unicorns run free. Did you say free unicorns? Yeah, free the unicorns. Unicorn Liberation Front. All right. Uh, mirrors are a great way to end a meeting. <laughs> yep, I was out on vacation today. He's building things. It makes him happy to build things. I'm not sure if it's a shed or if it's for bikes. What color is it? All right, we'll see everybody next time. Thanks for coming. Grumpy, do you know how to turn the uh, floating chairs off? Or is that uh, only under Oz's control? I do not. Oh well, we'll just do it the hard way. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool how we all get dismissed at the end of the meeting, so... I guess we'll have to find out next time. Ciao. Have a great weekend.